Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. You're in for a real treat today as I'm going to share my modified sole bread with you all. This is a recipe that I found a few years ago in my search looking for a bread alternative on a carnivore diet. Um, that day I was in the mood for a sandwich and it was either to decide to chaffle or not to chaffle. And I'm not a big fan of eggs and chaffles have always tasted kind of eggy to me. So I decided to instead jump onto Google and click link after link and go deeper and darker on the web until lo and behold, I came across something that I thought would be suitable. And boy, was it ever. There's a woman by the name of Soul Song, Gloria Cook, who has come up with a recipe called Low Carb Soul Bread. I took one look at that and knew that I had found what I was looking for, and I'm super excited to share it with you all here. So let's go ahead and show, uh, take a look at what the ingredients are. It has a base of either ricotta or cream cheese, and then we add some eggs, butter, a little bit of baking powder, beef gelatin, you can use either um, milk protein powder, not to be confused with milk powder, or whey protein powder. Um, actually, milk protein powder is 80% casein protein powder and 20% whey protein powder. So if you can't find milk protein powder in your area, you can easily make it on your own. Next is baking soda, cream of tartar, and then glycine. And I know some of you might be familiar with glycine and people use it as an added sweetener. As you know, my recipes are added sweetener uh, free. So um, whenever I use any sort of protein powders, and I only use dairy protein powders, um, I keep to the two to one glycine and methionine ratio. So whenever I'm tracking um, in, the, um, in the process of making these dairy powders, um, some of that is lost. So we want to make sure we have this two to one glycine to methionine ratio kept in all of our recipes. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I do to make this bread recipe even easier. The hardest part of all of it is just weighing and measuring and lining all the ingredients up in a row. And after that, it's just dump, pour, mix, stir, stick in the oven, and 40 minutes later, you've got a beautiful golden carnivore loaf of bread. One thing I would like to add is the differences in dough or batter between using the milk protein powder and the whey protein powder. You will notice in my video using the whey protein powder that the batter is runny, it's, you know, it's pourable, um, you can't really hold it in your hands or work it like that or anything. Very different when using the milk protein powder. You'll notice that you can actually pick it up and you can shape it, you can form it, um, so it's a totally different um, experiences between the two. It's quite fascinating and fun to come up with fun shapes. And as you'll see in my recipes, um, that I make donuts and um, I fill them with Bavarian cream as well. So lots of fun to be made with um, using this recipe. Lots of applications. Now, there are differences between using ricotta cheese cream cheese, the milk protein powder, and whey powders. Um, the original recipe was cream cheese and whey protein powder, and that is a very dense, filling, um, almost a pound cake-like um, consistency in a way. It's actually my preferred um, one. Somewhere along the way, um, over the last three years where I've shared this, um, Many people have come up with different variations, as I have myself with pumpkin flavor and pop, lemon poppy seed flavor, all sorts of flavors that I'll be sharing later. Um, but somebody came up with, um, because the cream cheese and the whey combination is a little bit heavier in fat and a little bit saltier tasting than their palate preferred, they wanted something a little bit lighter and less salty. So um, along the way, we found using ricotta cheese and the milk protein powder brings a lighter texture and a little bit less fat and a less salty taste. So the cream cheese and whey combination is fat heavy. Um, it's about 60% fat, 40% protein, and uh, per loaf, per slice, however you want to look at it. 
and then the ricotta and the milk protein uh, powder variation is about 45% fat and 55% protein. So um, again, different flavors, uh, different textures, um, and different variations of, and uses for the um, different combinations. People have also used cottage cheese before. Um, I've also seen people using some sour cream. Um, even one person forgot the amount of cheese they needed to use, and so they used half the amount of cheese, and it still turned out really good. It seems to be very forgiving um, using these base ingredients, kind of mixing them up. The one thing that I would share is myself, I have tried to use um, varying combinations of whey protein powder and casein protein powder to see if that makes a difference. And in my opinion, it makes no difference. I would either stick with the 80-20, the milk protein powder uh, and or ratio, um, instead of trying to experiment. That being said, if you do experiment and you find something that works great, I would love to know about it because any addition to a carnivore diet is a welcome addition.
And I've got a fresh made piece of cheese toast to enjoy right now. Mm.